Dear God, this is just to let you know that I'm breaking up with you. And I want you to know that this decision was not an easy one to make, but I feel it's what's best for the both of us, for me. And no, it's not me, it's you. They say the truth shall set you free, so I'm freeing myself from all your lies. And since you're always talking about how just you are, I think it's only just that you just answer me this. Where were you? All those years when my sister was crying mercy at the hands of her husband, when she couldn't spell love without fear, passion without pain, they say God is good, He is faithful. Where was this faithful God when my sister who was faithful to her vows faithfully got on her wounded knees day in, day out? Our Father who art in heaven, you are in heaven. With your angels watching us over some popcorn because for you, some of us are just a good movie with a pinch of salt. You betrayed me. You betrayed our trust. I now realize the foolishness in trusting something you can't see because you never really know when it's going to sneak up on you and take away the people you love the most. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. What kind of king claims to love his kingdom? Kisses his kids with his invaluable breath and turns his back on them. Allowing evil to still kill and destroy him. makes sense to me why Judas betrayed you with a kiss. That's how backstabbing works in the kingdom. Don't, <clears throat> don't try to talk me out of this. I've already made up my mind. It's not your world that will be done. It's mine. Give us this day our daily bread. Ask the kid on the street corner what that prayer means to him. He'll probably, he'll probably tell you a little bit about breadcrumbs and a whole lot of hopelessness because for him, daily bread doesn't come every day. You talk about the blood of Jesus and the body of Christ, how it was freely given so we could freely receive life in its most abundant form yet innocent kids are still dying of malnutrition that's because their breakfast time is at dinner time and that's the only time their throats see anything else besides poverty you still have the audacity to tell me ask and it shall be given you're a liar he once told me that forgiveness of stress of trespasses strengthens relationships but I feel like you're still punishing me for Eve's trans transgressions for how long were the seeds planted in my womb bear no fruit how do you think it makes me feel to be called a woman just not woman enough to be called mother and don't tell me to come to you as I am you're still the father of all, and I, the mother of none, lead us not into temptation. I struggle to pray with my eyes closed. All I see when my eyes are closed is their eyes, because I've often wondered if fairy godmothers exist, and, and if they do, then how miserable do you have to be for them to hear your cry? How loud did I have to scream to silence my sister's pain? How many tears did I have to cry to quench my brother's thirst? Lord, how? How do you choose your soldiers? I won't ask you to deliver us from evil because you created it so you can have it all, the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. I want our peace still. Be still. Be still and know that I am God. I can't say I'm surprised. In fact, I saw this coming. I've seen the way you don't even look at me the same anymore, the way you cancel our dates. Somewhere in between your busy life and worship of self, I've become a once a week thing, twice on Sundays thing, twice in front of people thing, four times when you really need something thing. I've seen it in your eyes. I've seen your mind drift off when you're supposedly spending time with me. In fact, till today, I don't remember when last we spoke for longer than one minute and 20 seconds. What a bittersweet tragedy that the one time you're giving me quality time is to tell me we're out of time. And no, it's not me, it's you. You get on your knees and ask for my will to be done, yet you won't let me take the will. There's no room. There's no room for both you and me at the altar of your heart. There's no room for me to bless that womb when you're heavily pregnant with impatience. There's no room for me. 
There's no room for me to give you this daily, this day your daily bread when you won't acknowledge that I'm your sole provider. From those breadcrumbs to the very breath that your lungs thrive on, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all that you need will be added unto you. That is, seek first my face before the works of my hands. That is, thirst. <laughs> That is, that is thirst first for me before the satisfaction I bring. That is friends before benefits. That is, that is seek me. And if anyone wishes to come after me, he needs to deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I need you to trust me. I need you to have some kind of faith in me, even if it's just the size of a mustard seed that's all it took to part the Red Sea. I need you to have the faith of the blind men who fix their blind eyes on an invisible God, saw me before their eyes could see. Seeing is believing is a lie. Believing is seeing. And when you, <clears throat> and when you feel your cross is too heavy for you to bear, remember Job, stripped off everything that was true to him his family his wealth his health came from a man with everything to a man with nothing yet he held on to me with blisters in his hands remember abraham hannah sarah do not lose heart for your heart pressed on every side but not crushed perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned struck down but not crushed remember the cross greater love hath no man than this that a man would lay down his life for his friends, brethren. The enemy is already defeated. Tell your brother, tell your brother the parable of the prodigal son. Tell him my heart breaks each day the sun goes down without him coming back home. Tell him my heart bleeds wasted time. Tell him I'm relentless in my pursuit of his heart. Tell him I will not give up on him. Tell him the only way to get back on his feet is to get on his knees. Tell him I'm waiting. Tell him my grace surpasses bad decisions in a broken relationship. Tell him. Tell him I love him. You asked how I choose my soldiers. I knitted you together in your mother's womb. Molded you into a star. Stars are specifically designed to shine in the darkness. I don't make mistakes. Shine. Whatever was supposed to kill you didn't. And what doesn't kill you knows who you belong to. <laughs> tell your story use your story to uplift others do not be afraid my grace is sufficient for you my power is made perfect in your weakness therefore boast in your weakness rejoice in your hardship persecutions and difficulties but when you're weak then you are strong today whatever you decide to do if you still decide to work or to walk away may you in your wondering, never wonder about my deep love for you. May, may you be aware that it's complete and unconditional. May you be aware that none of what you did yesterday, none of what you said today, none of who you'll become tomorrow will change that. May you be aware that my son's death on the cross, the only life-giving death, was just so you could experience all of my love for you. May you be aware that the entire kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever mean nothing to me if I'm not gaining your heart. Thank you.